Something unexplainable is happening near our sun, just as Earth prepares to be hit by a 700,000 km per hour solar wind. A mysterious interstellar object, 3i Atlas, disappears behind the sun, and then everything changes. The sun's magnetic field opens wide. Energy surges across space. Earth's magnetic shield begins to shake. Coincidence? Or are we witnessing a cosmic event no one fully understands? Tonight, we uncover what Atlas is really doing. Doing with our sun. A massive dark region has appeared on the sun, what scientists call a trans-equatorial coronal hole. Think of it as a tear in the sun's magnetic fabric, stretching across both hemispheres. Through that tear, streams of high-speed solar wind are escaping, shooting through space at nearly 700 kilometers per second, and Earth is directly in the line of fire. These charged particles don't just pass by. They collide with Earth's magnetosphere, compressing it it, shaking it, and sometimes even penetrating it. The result? Intense auroras glowing across the skies, disruptions in satellite communication, and power systems under stress. But this time, scientists noticed something strange. The coronal hole opened right as Atlas aligned with the sun. When the sun's magnetic field points south and Earth's points north, they can link a phenomenon called magnetic reconnection. It's like two invisible doors opening at the same time, allowing the sun's energy to pour directly into Earth's magnetic system. During this phase, our planet's defenses weaken. Radiation flows deeper. Satellites, navigation systems, and even migratory animals can be affected. It's one of the most powerful interactions in the solar system. And it's happening right now. But why now? Exactly when an interstellar object is passing behind the sun. 3i Atlas is no ordinary comet. It's a visitor from another star system. The third interstellar object ever discovered. Most comets in our solar system are made mostly of water ice. But 3i3i Atlas, it's made of carbon dioxide, almost eight times more than any comet we've seen before. Its chemical fingerprint doesn't match anything native to our sun's neighborhood. That means it was born somewhere far, far away, in the space between stars. And now it's moving behind our sun, completely hidden from our view, whatever happens next. We can't see it. We can only measure the effects. As Atlas disappeared behind the sun, something else began. A wave of powerful earthquakes rippled across the Pacific Rim. Some scientists say it's coincidence, tectonic activity with no connection to the sky. Others suspect that intense solar storms could subtly influence Earth's crust through magnetic stress. There's no proof. But the timing is impossible to ignore. The sun reacts. Earth responds. And in the middle, an object from another world. Hiding behind the light, astronomers predict four possible outcomes for 3i Atlas. One, it survives intact, continuing its lonely journey into deep space. Two, it fragments into multiple pieces, scattering cosmic debris that could orbit near the sun for years. Three, it becomes dormant, frozen by the sun's heat, waiting to awaken in another star system. Or four, it disintegrates completely, consumed by the sun's energy. But if it breaks apart inside the sun's magnetic zone, those fragments could interact with solar plasma, triggering unpredictable energy releases. Events like these are rare, and when they happen, they can reshape our understanding of how interstellar matter interacts with stars. In the coming days, telescopes around the world will search the sun's edge, waiting for Atlas to reappear. If it survives, it could carry valuable data about our sun's environment, or even show changes we've never seen before. If it doesn't, then somewhere behind the blinding light of the sun, an interstellar traveler has met its end, leaving only questions behind. One thing's certain, the sun's story isn't over, and maybe, just maybe, neither Atlas.